It is a historic milestone for the Indian Space Research Organization and for the nation with the successful docking of two satellites as part of the Space Docking Experiment or SPADIX. India is now only the fourth country in the world after the United States, Russia and China to master this complex technology. And joining me on this special broadcast is Dr. Jitendra Singh, Minister of State Independent Charge for Science and Technology, Earth Sciences and MOS in the PMO, Atomic Energy and Space. Dr. Jitendra Singh, many congratulations, sir. The docking was initially planned for the 7th of January, but there were some delays. Now, what were the complexities that our scientists were dealing with, sir? Yeah. At the outset, uh, thank you, thank you, Gaurav, for having me there. And uh, I think every Indian deserves to be congratulated. It's a matter of, uh, it's a moment of pride for each one of us. Uh, SpadeX, as you said, is uh, now puts India into that elite league of three or four nations. And this uh, docking uh, experiment or this uh, docking uh, capability was also essential because it has a huge, huge bearing on our future yes. uh, space missions. Uh, like, for example, the Gaganyaan mission, which will be a human mission, the crewed missions, the Chandrayaan-4, the Bharti Antariksha station where we hope to place uh, an Indian space station there. So, that would have required the capability of docking and, and undocking. And what is, uh, I think, also very significant is that this entire process has been accomplished absolutely, absolutely indigenously. And a very cost-effective manner, not uh, hard, less than 400 crore. So, which is uh, nothing in comparison to the cost of most of the uh, missions done by others. And uh, having said that, I think, uh, yeah, the earlier two attempts, we did not want to take a chance because uh, uh, it's, it's a very sophisticated exercise. Uh, the two satellites moving together, one called the target, the other yeah, called the chaser. chaser. And initially, they are moving at a speed of as much as more than 38,000 kilometers and gradually come down to less than 0 point, uh, 0 0.036 okay. kilometers. Then at the time of docking, just about 3 meters. So we wanted to be very confident and clear about the data. And were very, in fact, I was myself there also in Bangalore. Yes. And that's how it has taken us time because we wanted to make sure that it is accomplished in the manner that we have envisaged for ourselves. And, and I'm glad it's happened today. And uh, not only that, this, uh, this SpadeX, SpadeX will also be carrying out the other feature of CROP, which means uh, the orbital uh, plant research. Uh, and in the last few days, some seedlings have already grown up there. Uh, so that when we have our astronauts in place for a longer while, is there a possibility or a potential of uh, having some kind of uh, vegetation okay. growing out oh, there that's in, space, very interesting. in the space milieu. Similarly, okay. also space biology components also in future we'll try to inculcate with the help of the uh, biotechnologists. Okay. So, Dr. Uh, were there any anxious moments? Were our scientists always confident of success or was it touch and go? No, anxious moment happened uh, this morning itself. Actually, this uh, docking uh, apparently took place around 6 o'clock in the morning. But then what happened was that the we lost the pictures the picture went out of the screen so nobody was sure so we knew it had happened but we couldn't say it has happened because if it had not happened it would have you know been otherwise so then every moment was anxious just to wait for again the satellites being captured on the, uh, the in the in the in the spectrum of the uh, visual and finally that happened somewhere around 10 o'clock uh, we thought it would be again uh, it will come in the zone of uh, visibility somewhere around uh, uh, quarter to eight. It did not happen. Then thought nine o'clock. Uh, that was, I think, anxious for the entire team. But they were very confident because uh, even I, I told the chairman who just taken over two days back, uh, replacing Somanath in yes. Narayanan. Uh, I said, uh, has it gone out of sight? But is I hope it's not totally out. He says, no, I have a gut feeling that it has happened, only it's not being uh, visible to us. So I think these, but that is what makes the entire space activity so fascinating for each of them. Absolutely fascinating, sir. And Dr. Jitendra Singh, what does this achievement mean for future space missions? Because there are multiple lined up, uh, including Chandrayaan-4 and the manned mission, sir. Yeah, you see, I, I'm glad you asked that. 
because uh, for the benefit of the viewers, I think let me put it in a very simple terms. Now, tomorrow when we have a space station, for example, which we are planned for by, by 2035, which will be named appropriately Bharti Antarik Station, you would require your men, your astronauts to go there, visit there, stay there, come back. So, how would that happen unless there is a channel of moving in and out, which is possible only through this docking and undocking technique. Secondly, some of the samples like Chandrayaan might be doing, Chandrayaan phone, would be required to be carried from the existing spaceship or the satellite back to Earth uh, for uh, further follow-up, for further uh, 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 analysis. And to, 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 to transport that also, you would need docking. Thirdly, sometimes, for example, in future you believe that there is a satellite which is there in space, is functioning well, you need to, you want to have it some, for some more time in space without bringing it back uh, to earth because that will not be very cost effective also and that will interrupt the entire process. So how do you then uh, make sure that it continues there? Again, through docking, you could, you could, you know, re-energize it, you could send the payloads inside. Uh, and uh, thirdly, all these vegetation experiments, etc. also. And and finally, when you have this uh, human space mission, yes, and that also intends uh, visiting the space station and coming back. So I think that makes the entire process far, far more accomplishable, feasible. And all our uh, future missions, uh, particularly the Gagarian, the Chandrayaan four, the Bharat Antarik station, they have a huge, huge bearing on the feasibility of uh, docking and undocking systems. And as I Doctor, said, I think what's also a matter of pride is it says it's one of the, it's one of the most it's one of the most beautiful illustrations of Atam Nirbhar Bharat. The entire process has been accomplished indigenously. Right, and uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, since India is now in an elite club, uh, just just four countries in the world, and we are the fourth country uh, to be able to do this. Apart from this major scientific achievement, does it come with? other economic benefits for future missions uh, uh, you know how does this benefit indian space research organization and the ecosystem financially too in future absolutely well yeah very nice i i'm glad you asked that see we have started off late and we have started off late for two reasons uh, because we didn't get the kind of uh, i i think we didn't have any dearth of vacuum and as far as our space experts, space scientists are concerned, there was no dearth of potential, there was no dearth of capability, no dearth of commitment. Remember those yes. pictures of Sara Bhai carrying all this someone on the on carriage of the bicycle. But what we were lacking is possibly an enabling milieu which comes from the level of the policy makers, that comes from the level of the political dispensation. And that started happening only after 2014 when Prime Minister Modi came and it was very forthcoming. And I think the entire this game changer effect has happened in the last four years after Prime Minister Modi allowed party, private participation in the space sector. Mm. And this has been a quantum jump, even as far as our economy is concerned. We have a huge, huge private investor, we have huge FDI. And will you believe that uh, we have almost uh, by now earned as much as, uh, even by sending off the foreign satellites, almost 292 million euros and 172 million dollars just by launching wow. the foreign satellites. And uh, there is also not only the launching uh, going on, uh, uh, adding to our economy, but it's also the transfer of technology happening. So, gradually in the last four years, I think the best example to, 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 to illustrate that is that our ISRO was born in the year 1969, when yes. Americans landed the first human being on the surface of Moon Neil Armstrong. We were just being born. But today, we have landed on the southern pole before anybody else. And this has happened because of the reforms that uh, were undertaken in the space sector in the, by the present government. And as far as the economy is concerned, it has started you know, showing uh, a steep rise in the last four or five years. We hope to go five times higher in the next uh, eight to ten years, which means that when we talk of Vixit Bharat, when we talk of India 2047, when we talk of our economy going to number four, number three, and then to that pedestal, space sector, yes. like many other unexplored sectors, like our marine sector, which also has now deep sea mission, are going to contribute hugely, hugely to that value addition. So, uh, you know, as we talk about India's spectacular success and achieving this very crucial uh, milestone with this experiment, 
talk to us uh, about um, the the wider space ecosystem that's coming together in india the academic institutions the startups how will this help build a larger space ecosystem in our country absolutely i think even this spadex mission is uh, is one of the beautiful examples of a whole of science and whole of uh, government and whole of government plus whole of nation because uh, uh, though the isro was the nodal agency you know operating it performing all the exercise but the contribution came from number of iits number of other technical institutes some in the form of contributing equipment some in the form of contributing their specialists uh, there to give their knowledge inputs so it was a whole whole ecosystem which has also been possible to develop after the space reforms happen because now even the private sector experts the private sector institutions are also you know getting integrated so it's not only financial um, uh, uh, synergy, synergy it's also the knowledge, knowledge synergy which is happening Absolutely. Sir, for joining me here on this India Today special broadcast, many thanks and wish you and the entire Indian Space Research Organization team many, many congratulations and all the best for all the future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you.